I guess the number one reason is that uh, the manifestation of bodily disorders is like a chain reaction. And uh, the chain starts with what's called technically the emotional body, which is not just feelings. It has to do with the meanings, uh, the experience of the significance of whatever is happening in the individual's life. The event happens and you end up with an interpretation, a meaning, a significance, and then you have an emotional reaction to it, a feeling response, and then you have the action imperative, and then you have to start, uh, what would you call it, um, evaluating the action imperative in terms of what's going on in the world, in terms of how your response to that is going to be reacted to. And as a result of that, um, we end up putting out uh, an extraordinary, complex, uh, interpretive meaning uh, and significance reaction to everything that happens to us. And it affects the whole body through the, uh, the emotional body and through the, uh, the, the mental body in such a manner as to profoundly affect the physical body. And so then life goes on. And as particular um, parts of, of um, your life become increasingly problematic because of life history and family culture and events in the world and in your life and that kind of thing, if your action responses to what's happening in the, these, uh, what you could characterize as negative events, are too dangerous and um, uh, uh, going to make the situation far worse and that kind of thing, they get suppressed. And then that starts to really distort the nature of the emotional body and the emotional re body's reactions. And the net effect is that that then starts to really tangle up the physiology. And that eventually reaches some sort of critical turning point and it starts to break the body down in particular manners related to the complexities of the issues that are being constantly reactivated in your life and all that sort of thing. And that and then uh, what the final process on the thing is what you could characterize as the precipitant or the trigger, which is that you've got this rumbling, rambling context of physiologic and psychologic disturbance, and then an event happens that takes it over the top and the thing precipitates into a collapse uh, function on the physical body. And so the physical response, the disorder itself, is the last of a long chain reaction uh, that spans your lifetime. And, uh, and therefore, if you are going to effectively um, be able to reverse, untangle, uh, liberate yourself from this whole complex, the thing that you want to deal with is twofold. One of them is the allopathic part of the thing, which is the fancy thing, the word for uh, Western medicine, dealing with the physical precipitants and outcomes of all of this that could be life-threatening and that kind of thing. And they are very effective at that sort of thing. But what is very clear is that if you treat physically the, treat the, the symptoms of the disorder of the system in yourself, and that's the only thing you do, what you get is a bunch of complications from the drugs and uh, a bunch of, of uh, wear down factors from untreated uh, emotional um, turmoil and uh, the cumulative effects physically, psychologically, emotionally, and pragmatically of what the person is going through in, as a function of this, this complex of things. And so the way that you want to deal with the, um, the thing in terms of the most effective way to uh, at least alleviate, if not eliminate, the um, disorder is to understand at the deep, profound level and at the same time at the, you know, 
I can understand this in daily terms level, what exactly the meaning of that whole thing is, and why it is that it's happening to me, and the obvious uh, implications for removing the basic cause of the disorder, which is the emotional part of it. And so the items in the book basically spell out how it is that you ended up with the disorder, that is the, the whole complex, and uh, what the emotional meaning of the whole thing is, and therefore what needs to be healed, which is the emotional part of the thing. And if you do that, it can do the um, process of healing uh, the thing on its own, and when in conjunction with the allopathic thing, and make it uh, very uh, rapid in forms of uh, healing. When you do the allopathic thing alone, it either only controls the symptoms and doesn't deal with the cause, or it um, adds complications of its own, or it uh, misses the point of the whole thing, because it's, it's the fundamental emotional um, meaning that the individual has been living with all their life that needs to be modified. And so by healing the emotional experience that they had and have had to struggle with and understanding where it came from and therefore uh, what they need to be able to respond to things in a realistic manner instead of the habitual from long ago manner, it has the effect of being incredibly effective as a healing process. And so that's why it's, it's called the body's desk reference, because it essentially, you know, the, the book is called Messages for the Body, because the disorders of the body are a very complex um, message from the body to the brain, the mind, as to what's going on, and if you pay attention to it, that is the most effective, efficient way to go about healing. And so it's what you could characterize as a handy-dandy healing device. Michael, Messages from the Body has proven to be a touchstone or a foundational reference for such an untold number of healing professionals, chiropractors, um, people using emotional freedom technique, in energy body workers. Um, can you briefly explain to us why you think that is? Basically, the problem is at the emotional body level. and. Uh, those practitioners, and a great many more, like acupuncture and, and oriental medicine and Ayurvedic medicine and so on, all work with those levels of, uh, of um, operation and healing. And when you bring them in, the complementary medicine, it makes a tripod, the allopathic, the complementary, and the emotional, to, uh, to make a an extremely effective healing team, and that hugely accelerates and deepens the healing. And so that's why such practitioners find it so extremely useful, because it, what would you call it, it provides the link between the physiological and the emotional.